Hi everybody, it's Unique <laughs> Unique Makeup with Nikki, not Unique Makeup. Unique Makeup with Nikki, where all the products I use um, are unique, obviously. So I'm going to start with how I do my foundation, my face. Um, really simple. First, I start with our Touch Glorious Face Primer. A uh, face primer is going to help a number of things. First, this face primer is the silkiest, most velvetiest primer I've ever felt in my life. So I just dab it on and it's going to go into, it's going to stop your foundation from sinking into your pores. It's going to go into any fine lines so your foundation doesn't. It's going to help your foundation last all day. And that obviously is an important thing. Do the lid up. And just get my forehead. I like to do my hair after because it makes it easier for blending. So I always pin my hair back. Get that rubbed in. I like to let it sit for a few minutes. Um, I've already cleansed, washed, toned, lotioned my face. I also let to let, like to let the lotion sit. I have several different mirrors around um, and a really good light. You want a really good lighting. I sometimes go into different rooms while I'm doing my makeup um, and different mirrors to look at my lighting um, just because it's easier that way. And people are gonna see you throughout the day in a million different lightings. You want to look natural in all of them. So next things next is we're going to start with foundation and I'm gonna talk to you about my beauty blenders. I am a beauty blender girl 100% of the way. Um, you might like something like this. Okay, you might enjoy a foundation brush. I have not figured out how to do this yet um, into a way that I like. So I am a beauty blender girl all the way. Tip, beauty blender tip. Make sure you're wetting them. Um, you wet them, they get bigger. This is probably doubled in size. This way it's going to absorb the water, not the product. I just wring it out in a towel after. You don't want it sopping wet, but that way there's no like moisture on the outside of it. I just kind of grab a towel and go Doop, squeeze once. This is for my concealer, it's a little bit smaller. It has um, been soaked as well, and it has gotten bigger as well. So those are my two beauty blenders, and I'm going to get my Touch Mineral Liquid Foundation from Unique. Um, I'm gonna shake it every time before I use it. And I'm gonna squeeze them up, and I'm just going to put my dots all around the top of it. Now you're gonna be able to see that your product is sitting on top of the beauty blender. It's not sinking in. You are not losing any product. And that is the way it should be. And I always start from the bottom and work my way up in tapping motions, in like kind of circular tapping motions. Maybe not even circular, just tapping motions. I got a color that's a little bit darker for me. Um, I like going a little bit darker because I can shade it out. Um, makes me look a little bit more tan, plus then I'm ready and I have a shade for summer. So I just tap it on. There's some more product over on this side. Make sure you're blending at the neckline. Always about the blending, blending into the hairline. Don't mind me, I'm just using my other camera here, or my other mirror, sorry. Use this to get into little small areas like around your nose if you're not happy with the. Uh, if it's giving you any streaking in your beauty blender, use the bigger end and kind of go like that to straighten it all out. This is good for blending into the hairline too. There's absolutely no line when I'm looking in this mirror. Make sure you're getting your eyes. We'll deal with them in a little bit. You don't need to bring it up underneath your bags because that's what our concealer's for. Perfect. And there is our foundation. We're gonna move on to the concealer. It is mineral as well, so you're going to wanna shake it as well. 
So we're going to shake. I'm going to get my other beauty blender. I'm going to show you the way that I do concealer. I don't apply it directly to the beauty blender. I apply it in a kind of like a V and then like, like a, like a backwards check mark. Don't apply it directly under here. You're going to get, it's going to fill into all of your fine lines and your bags are actually going to look worse. You want to brighten this area. Okay. So we're going to just bring it down. I'm going to use this one here. It's a little bit easier to see. Okay, see how I did there? And, and then I'm gonna add it to other places, usually places that I'm gonna highlight. So I do it to the bridge of my nose. Right here on my lip. And a little bit on my chin. Okay, and then we blend it out. I'm going to start with my chin. My lip. My nose. Blend it up and then down to the point. See how that just really brightens it up? And just go down, start up at the top, and go down into a V when you're doing your concealer. And across, down into a V. So you're lightening up that whole area underneath the eye. And if you do find you're getting any fine lines, just Smooth them out with your finger and then go in with this end and go. Perfect. So I'm just going to quickly do this eye on this mirror. And yeah, see, when you're in this mirror, you kind of see, when you use different lighting, you kind of see like areas that you missed, areas that you didn't blend as well. You're brightening up that whole area underneath your eye. Again, any fine lines, smooth them out with your finger. And then bounce it out. <laughs> That's kind of what I call it. Perfect. Now we're going to move on to the second part of doing our foundation, which is setting our face using Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder by Unique. First things first is I like to do, using a smaller brush, the areas that my big fluffy brush, this one here, isn't going to get. So I just take some product on my little brush, knock off the extra. Let me do a bit of a blow. And I'm doing like in here, my bags. And remember, it's always a pat, never a wipe, or you're just wiping off product. I forgot to mention that with the beauty blender. Make sure you're always tapping, never wipe. Do in the corner. See that crease there? We can actually set our eyelids um, right now and use our foundation. If you, this kind of makeup on a budget, if you are short on beauty like um eye primer if you're short on eye primer and you don't have any i recommend buying some but if you don't have any use the tiniest bit of foundation put it on your lid and then set it either with your um eyeshadow or with your setting powder and that's gonna stop your eyeshadow and your eyelid from creasing so let's do both sides now and that's the one place where you can kind of wipe because you're just like putting it on like eyeshadow but here you want to pat it into it into you maybe around here just hard to reach places that you know maybe like throughout the day um product goes a little bit missing 
because you're not able to pound your product in there. And again, get rid of that line and set our eyes. Okay, now that your eyes are set, we can set the rest of our face. We're just gonna go in to our translucent powder with a big fluffy brush. We're gonna knock off any powder and we're gonna just stifle it around like this. This is gonna get rid of any shine. It's going to make sure that we have a nice finish um, and it's just going to make sure that, it's just gonna act as an, another precaution to help our makeup stay in place all day. And just remember, you're always tapping and pushing the product into the skin. Perfect. And that is how you do flawless setting and foundation. Oh, one more thing. Always put a little bit of powder right here. You do not want to forget your chin and your underneath here. Thanks for watching, guys.